What's up YouTube? I usually don't even start a video this late, but here I am starting this video. And I just wanted to give an update on how I've been with the Genesis for the last year. Most of y'all, well a lot of y'all have been supporting the channel for that long. And if you haven't, then I welcome y'all to the channel. But this is my 2014 Genesis Coupe R-Spec 3.8 and it does have a manual. And I have done a few changes, quite a few changes in here. And I just wanted to tell y'all about it, show y'all how the car's been doing and that kind of stuff. So I'm about to go for a little drive and I'll talk with you then. I just pulled over because my GoPro was acting funny just now. I think it's because I started to record in 60 frames per second when I needed to be recording in 30 frames. So sorry about that, but I'm getting back on the road now. But like I was saying, I've been just trying to keep myself cool and whatnot, not driving the car and all the heat and stuff. So here I am now. But as far as me driving the car, it has 102,000 miles on it. I bought it with 89,000 miles on it. So it's not actually like a 15,000 mile update. It's like a 13,000 mile-ish, kind of. But if you haven't followed the channel, then I'm gonna just brief you up on what's been going on with it. But I do love my Genesis Coupe a lot. I like it a lot more than I did my green one, even though that was my baby. But this one is just, it feels a lot better, probably because it's four years newer and it came in a stick. The mods I have on the car, of course I have basically a full exhaust without the downpipe. So I have J2 headers, CNT test pipes. Oh. I have CNT test pipes, uh, cat delete pretty much. And I have CNT cat back, which is not exactly a CNT cat back anymore because I have chopped off the mufflers and my resonators went bad. So I bought some new resonators. I forgot the name of them, but I should have it on the screen right now. So I replaced the resonator and cut out the mufflers. So that's why it's kind of loud. is 
the window. Y'all probably can't hear it on the GoPro, but there's this whistling or whatever is going on with the window. Like it's not all the way up, but it is all the way up. I just think it's something dealing with the trim around somewhere that's letting air through. And that can get annoying if I don't have the radio on like I don't right now. And the factory speakers, while we're talking about the radio, they also are not the best quality. And whenever the radio is all the way up or my Bluetooth is all the way up, it's still not as loud as I would like it to be. Even the speakers I installed on the Miata are louder than those. And those were very cheap, but they are good quality. And I see the camera isn't all freaking out and cutting off and saying no SD card activated or whatever it was saying. Because I think it was because I couldn't, what are they doing? They looking at me or something? But I think it's because I was trying to record at 60 frames per second. And the SD card I have in here is not writing fast enough. Which means I need to just buy another SD card so I could record better videos for y'all. Which I think I am going to do like shortly. As I was saying though, I bought the car like a year ago. But five or six months ago, like in February, I did blow the motor. And I know y'all probably have not seen the video so click the card at the top of the screen right now but I blew the motor which was 100% my fault because I was neglecting that the car needed an oil change and I was neglecting that my rear main seal was leaking so that's like my fault by not even checking the oil before I went to run another car but I mean stuff happens and this car is really like riding beside me <laughs> I don't even know what to think about that. If you just check the oil in the car and take care of it, do the minor maintenance things that you should do. What the? Bro, you see some crazy stuff out here in Louisiana. <laughs> I should have went and got them. That's what I should have did. Actually. Nah, I'm not going to do it. I'm not even going to do it. <laughs> but if I see another one, I'm not going to let them slide. Ooh, can y'all hear that rattle? Like 
I said, I don't have anything really to complain about about this car, and I do love it. But there are some mods that I want to do in the future that won't require me to have a retune. I might as well just go ahead and tell you. I want to port and polish my intake manifolds and my throttle body and free up some of that horsepower that I'm losing with all of that. And I don't think I'm going to have, a, have to get a tune for that. But the manifold riser, I will have to. And so that's why I think I'm going to hold off on that and just do the other, other small things and then start on my interior and just how the car looks. Because on the street, yeah, it does look good when it's washed and things and all that. But I kind of want my car to be noticed a little more than it is. I wish I hadn't have got a black car because it hides all the black accents and the carbon accents that I have added. But, I mean, hey, one day I'll end up wrapping it or... I actually don't think I'm going to get painted, but I think I'm going to wrap the car. If you have any wrap suggestions, then let me know in the comment section. Not saying I'm going to go along with it, but I would see what y'all want. And y'all might just make me change my mind on some things. But I'm going to just hit y'all up whenever I get out of this traffic. And here I am after driving around for about 20 minutes. I'm downtown Baton Rouge. And I'm on, what street is this? Is this Main Street? Yeah, I think it's, no, North Street. I'm on North Street. I have the car parked on the side of the road. Just for y'all to look at it under these lighting. Even though it's black, you can't really tell anything. But she still does look quite nice. Um, I didn't get to answer all of the things that y'all might have questions about. But I did answer quite a few. So, be, if you like, then you can leave comments down in the comment section. And I'll answer them there. But this is just about gonna wrap up today's video. I don't have anything to do but to record the car, give y'all a little 15,000 mile update, tell y'all about how I blew the motor and got another one put in all that, went back with the same motor and did not wanna do a swap or anything. But this is just about gonna wrap up today's video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down in the section below. Let me know anything that y'all have on your mind, any thoughts, any questions, any comments, concerns, and I'll greatly appreciate that. It helps the video a lot. And if you stayed this far, I really do appreciate it. But as always, remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. I thank y'all for watching.